Hello, welcome to today's adventure. We are in Syracuse today at the State Fair of New York. This is Lisa's first county or state fair of any kind, so we're gonna walk around, get a feel for it. There's a lot of things to do here. Parking's abysmal, traffic is abysmal, but it's worth it. Tonight though is very special because we are gonna see Chevelle at 8 p.m. This is my first time seeing Chevelle live in concert and I am excited. Bucket list. Well, we just got our tickets at the little kiosk. Caleb just took a picture of the map. So uh, I hope we can find a paper map, but at least we'll have the picture of it in case we can't. Um, wow, it's it's huge. I don't even know where to start, but... Oh, dairy cattle. Maybe we can start there. you can get milk in the dairy barn. How nice is that? There's some green milk in there. Wow. Okay, and there's a bunch more cows this way. That's huge. There's some pretty brown ones over here. And we're gonna see the poultry. What are cavies? Someone comment below what's a cavy. Let's find out. Rooster crowing contest. <laughs> oh, oh, turkey. Wow, this, this turkey is for sale. $120, his name is Rudy. They're shaggy, how fun. This is a medium geese. Well, this is a goose, but I mean, in general, these are medium geese, that's what it says. And here are a bunch of pretty chickens. Bantams, I think. That's what it seems to say. Oh, here the rooster. Hi, chicken. Oh. You are very pretty. These are real creatures. They're like Dr. Seuss chickens. <laughs> bunnies. Dutch bunnies. Oh, they're very pretty. Some guinea pigs, four guinea pigs. For only $50, you two can have one. Now to see the big bunnies. Oh, a sleepy one. We found the cabbies, or cabbies, or however you pronounce it. Is that what these are? I'm so confused. So is a cabbie a kind of rabbit? I'm not understanding. This one's very pretty. No. So we think maybe these are the cabbies? They look like guinea pigs? Not real sure. They're not labeling things very well. 
there's a lot of them. Well, we are standing in line for lemonade. We just ate um, Mexican street corn and I forgot to film it, but it was yummy. So this is the eatery and I'm not going to film much because of music and copyright, but there's more food in here and all outside. Ooh, it smells good in here. This is the horticulture building with, oh, and we start with wineries and, oh, sourdough croissants. Woo, yum. They're five bucks each. Good heavens. I think we're smelling maple. Wow, there's some maple products over there. Oh, wow. Mmm, it smells so, so, so good. Oh, and there's honey and there's potatoes like way in the back and Cutco. <laughs> oh, and Caleb is trying some hot sauce. <laughs> Last Bite Sauce. Lastbitesauce.com. Well, we're getting one of these bottles for family. Well, we're just exploring the horticulture building and they have a garden inside financing for qualified buyers with a very loud Visit speaker inside the center <laughs> not relaxing in here at all inside the dairy products building but for it's pretty wireless needs take advantage of their exclusive fair time deals why wait for your data transfer in store when you can drop it off at their booth explore the fair and pick it up when it's done Metro Mattress, upstate New York's largest mattress specialty retailer. Oh, these look like purple Welcome hibiscus. To the great New York State I don't know what they Stop are. They're not hibiscus, cool but it's so pretty. And, and now I'm getting ice cream. I'm gonna get the black cherry chip. So black cherries, large soft chocolate chunks in vanilla ice cream. Yum. They have lots of things here, including frozen bananas and Oreo stuff and all sorts of cool stuff. It's good, yum. And now we're going into the exposition center to see dinosaurs. They do have some games and rides. And here is the exposition center. It's huge. Okay, four more dollars. And here are some dinosaurs. Oh, he's like dripping water. Wow. Well, the dinosaurs were really fun, and we stepped out of the exhibition center into the farmer garden with lots of plants, and they have corn and all sorts of stuff. And we're making our way to the goat barn. Goats. No, that's a very nice goat. Alpine breed is the alpine. It's a dairy goat. Lyric and Phoebe. Or Phoebe. Uh, only one of them are in here, so I don't know which one this is, but very nice goat. And did you know, you probably did, female goats are called doves, male goats are bucks, and baby goats are kids. I knew about the kids, I didn't know about the other two. Aww. Well, this one just wants to hang out and meet everyone and get nose rubs. Finally made it to the main horse barn. And yes, it smells horsey. Mm. 
No. Oh. Looks like a lot of the horses have been taken out and haven't been put in yet. Well, there are some here. Yeah, there are a few left. I think they're starting to shut down for the day and they're taking them home, maybe. At least half the goat barn was gone. But there's still some. That one has nice braided hair. Lovely. Yeah, I'm so glad we got to see some. Caleb just spotted the wool center. Ooh, that's cool. They have some weaving paraphernalia, yarn. That's cool. A spindle. Really fluffy. I can let it dry out. Washed wool. Oh, we haven't seen the sheep yet. Harder because. Ooh, this is a nice loom. And there's stuff to purchase on this side. This, oh, and yarn. You can buy yarn back there. Oh, nice. Well, we found the carriage museum on our way to get more food. So we're going to check it out. Hands on butter making. We missed it. Man. Oh, just think. If you lived in 1800 something, you could drive one of these. Oh, that's warm in here. I wouldn't want the poor horses to get hot dragging around these things. Oh, but they wouldn't dragging around that nice sleigh. That's cool. Do you think it's a coincidence oh, that sleigh. it's called the Jared Van Wagenen Carriage Museum? <laughs> All of these are sleighs. How nice. Oh, that's really nice. I like that one. Oh, and that's like a double row for your family. This is very cool. John Deere. And over here we have some post vans for the mail and some dairy vans. We got fried Oreos. Mm. Good, good. And she's trying not to get powdered sugar all over herself. Well, I just got my supper at the pierogi place, and I got the potato cheddar trio. It looks very nice. Well, the pierogies were yummy, and we got smoothies, and now we're headed to see Chevelle. You don't know how excited I am to cross this band off my bucket list. It is amazing how two brothers can make music so angry. Oh, I'm so excited. So, yeah, he really is excited. I'm having a hard time keeping up with him. Yeah, but it looks like we should have brought chairs or a blanket, and we didn't, so there's that. I'm sitting on my sweater. loving them so far. I've used them a few times today for the first time and they are really good. Like I can hear talking better but not like extraneous background noise so really good. Um, time at the fair, but I'm really tired. We are gassing up the car to get back home to Fort Drum. 
I um, didn't love the concert just because I that's not my thing but Caleb loved it I'm so glad to see Chevelle so I'm glad we got to do that for him and um, I got lots of yummy snacks so that made me happy um, so overall it was a really great day at the, way, the I... state fair so thank you so much for joining us on today's adventure in Syracuse at the New York State Fair I hope you will subscribe so you can see when we have other adventures coming up and we hope you have a great day bye